Welcome to the Living the Dream podcast with Curveball. If you believe, you can achieve. She is the founder of Empowerment Through Golf. It was founded in 2017 to support education and community development. And we're going to talk about the wonderful things that they've been doing, not only just in the United States, but all over the world. They have been making a difference in people's lives through golf. So Helene, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh my goodness. Thank you for having me, Mr. Jackson. I think it's a a real honor uh, to be on your show and to be able to speak about the work of empowerment through golf. So thanks again for having us here. Absolutely. Why don't you give the audience a little bit of background about yourself, maybe about how you got into golf or anything that you want people to know? Sure. Thank you. I started to play uh, when I was very young. Uh, My dad played and we developed that bond at home by practicing when he came home from work. And then that love fostered and it took me to the golf course with him. Both of my parents were supportive. And I started the junior program um, at Cedar Valley Golf Club in Antigua. And I competed in my first tournament when I was just 12 years old. And from there, I think I was hooked. I went on to compete for the Antigua national team and then also for the Virgin Islands national team when we moved there. And then when I got into college, I took a break for a while because I was studying sciences. Um, And it's a little bit difficult to balance both. But after I graduated college, I was right back out, um, putting myself in weekend tournaments. Uh, And then when I moved to San Diego, um, putting myself in professional circuit tournaments as well, gearing up for the LPGA Tour. Uh, So I competed all the way through Symmetra Tour. And yeah, now I'm a teacher for the LPGA in training. So it's been an amazing journey, but it all started at home in Antigua when I was a little girl because of my dad. So you say that you're a teacher for the LPGA. Describe what that means and what do you teach for the LPGA? Sure. The LPGA is a Ladies Professional Golf Association. And since I've played pro uh, professionally on the circuits and I'm not actually touring out there right now um, because I'm also working in the lab, what I What I think I can do really well also is teach. Like I can play the game really well and I can also teach. And I want to to teach um, and bring more uh, diverse people into the game of golf. So I think that it just, it came a little bit naturally with the organization Empowerment Through Golf. Our mission is to diversify the fields of golf and STEM. So even if I'm not able to actually be on tour and be like a physical representation of Black women in the sport, I can teach and help bring others into the game that way. So before we start talking about empowerment through golf, let's talk about you being a scientist. You say you're in the lab. What kind of science work do you do? Right now, I work in biotech. Um, After I I graduated with a material science engineering degree, and I studied polymers, so like the building blocks of materials, like a lot of plastics, plastic materials, that was my focus. Um, And I started off as a chemist in Pittsburgh, uh, working on paint and different things like that. And now I work in the biotech industry in San Diego in genomics research. My group does a lot of nanofabrication work, so very small scale uh, type of work to make consumable parts for the DNA sequencers. And it's really exciting. (laughs) Absolutely. That's a great, great field to get into. So let's talk about empowerment through golf. Tell us why you decided to found it in the year 2017. Talk about all that you guys do and the the missions that you've carried out and helped people and supported people all over the world. Yes, Empowerment Through Golf started out of the necessity uh, to bring more diversity into the field of golf. I just remembering myself being out there and not seeing many chocolate women out on the tour, or at least like trying to get onto the tour. And then also in the sciences, the same thing. At home in the islands, like I think I've seen a lot of people who look like me out <laughs> doing the things that I do. But here, it's a little far and few in between. And I don't mind, but it's just a matter of attracting the people to the sport and also to the field, like any of any field or any uh, subject area in science to let them know that, hey, you know, like you can be successful in this arena. There are opportunities here for you. 
that was the mission behind empowerment through golf. And I know when I was growing up, I knew that, okay, I'm going to play professionally on the LPGA and I'm going to have a platform. And in my mind at the time, it was like, I'm going to bring up all of these other people from the Caribbean, right? <laughs> but I don't think I've strayed far from that mission. I think it's spread. Uh, so now it's not just focused on um, uplifting people back in the islands. Uh, we're uplifting people in Africa. Uh, we started off doing work in East Africa in the beginning. Um, I was focused on women's rights research out there. And then even after I left, I've still been in touch with the organizations and we still keep our STEM mission going by supporting education uh, for the organizations out there. This year, as we continue to expand, uh, we've connected with a, another organization in West Africa, in Ghana, and we're going to try and do a lot of like STEM-related work with the students there because they are amazing golfers already, and their their school, their home school, is already set up for receiving like virtual mentorship and virtual teaching. So I'm just looking forward to what we will do like this year and in the future, and then also here in San Diego. We're doing junior golf uh, clinics every third Saturday of the month. We have a junior program that we do out of the Sorrento Canyon Golf Center. Um, so we're bringing students into the game of golf. We have a partnership with a school in the Midwest that we're forming now. They're a STEM school, so the students are like, they're already into the sciences. And their admin wants us to get them encouraged and enthusiastic about the game of golf. So we have a lot. To, we're doing a lot. <laughs> Well, you know, here in Kansas, in Wichita, Kansas, the company that I work for, we have blind golfers that, that play golf, and we have instructors that help us out. Maybe you guys will be interested in partnering or, or coming out because we also have kid golfers as yes, well. Yes, of course. Like, there's so much science. And so that's the thing. There is so much science in the game of golf as well. And so like, if we can promote that to other people so that they can see like, hey, you can use your passion and your love for the sciences to create products for people to help them enjoy the game and things like that. Like that would, you know, like that's the goal, like for people to like make the connection between the two and just take it on and, you know, live their best lives, so to speak, um, in both of these fields. Um, but most definitely, I think that would be an amazing experience. Well, what I was going to, ask you about is science and golf how, how does that go hand in hand and why did you guys decide to incorporate that in because that, that's pretty interesting well I think mostly because those are the two things that I always wanted to do and uh, well in the beginning when I was growing up like I watched the pros and I noticed that they did golf and business so at first, when I was growing up, I was like, okay, I'll be a golfer and a businesswoman. Um, but, you know, when I got into high school and things like that, like my school and some of my uh, instruct teachers at the time definitely uh, motivated me to study sciences and growing up and um, trying to do both things. I realized that it wasn't easy, but, you know, it makes sense. Both things are very captivating. And the, both of them can take you a very long way in life. You give back to people along the way. It, they're both very fulfilling careers. So I just want other people to see that as an avenue for themselves later on um, and see that they can make impact in these two fields. So that's the reason why golf and STEM. And then as we grow, you know, they, just like I was explaining a while ago, we realized that there is so much uh, science in golf. Like your whole body is like the physics of the motion of the body in the game the engineering that goes into the golf clubs, the balls, like your shoes, everything, like science is all around us. So, yeah. Speaking of growing, where do you see empowerment through golf in five years? Oh, man. In five years, I want us to have programs in every continent. And I would love us to be able to give scholarships to students or help students get scholarships to college, whether it is like an athletic scholarship or science-based scholarship just growing the impact grow, or spreading the impact, growing the reach and just seeing other people become successful. I, that's, that's, that's the mission. <laughs> and your media kit, you had a calendar and I saw that you had some upcoming events. Explain to people what those events are and what you do or what happens during those events and how people can attend if they would like to. Yes, most definitely. So one thing, when we started, we held a golf tournament every year to raise funding for our program initiatives. 
And obviously everybody had to make adjustments last year. Uh, so we weren't able to have our tournament to bring people together. So we sort of figured, okay, let's get virtual. Um, and we did a pilot for our virtual mentorship program. And the goal of the virtual mentorship program was to get an understanding of our students in Antigua and understand what it is that they want to study away from the golf course and then be able to bring people on the panel who can speak to those interests of theirs, uh, whether it be in golf, business, law, or science. And so we put the students um, with the panelists and we had an amazing, amazing mentorship session with them. It was such a fruitful event. The students walked away with resources for connecting with different colleges. We recognized that we needed to help them attract, get, make themselves attractive to colleges by um, putting themselves in tournaments. So we organized a golf tournament for some of the more senior players uh, so that they can start getting those things ready for their college applications. And so because that pilot session went so well, we're keeping it going for 2021. Uh, so the virtual mentorship program that we're doing, select Saturdays out of the year, and you can uh, go to our website at etghub.com, connect with us there, or even on our social media, search empowerment through golf on either Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Uh, to get a copy of the calendar um, because if you're in if anyone who's listening rather is in STEM or a serious golfer and they want to mentor some students we would love to have you on the panel just to speak to these students and pour into them they are intelligent and I am just they're bright I'm excited to see what their future holds so we're looking for mentors for our panel for this year do you guys have any literature that can be sent out any flyers that people can send out to people to let, let them know about you guys and see if they're interested in partnering up with you? Of course. I mean, I have the calendar and I, I don't believe we have it posted on our website, um, but I'll make sure that I post it on the website. We've just been emailing it to people um, through messaging, um, but we do have the calendar and I can share that with you. And um, if anyone who, after listening to this, wants a copy of it, will definitely be able to get, uh, get them a copy. But also if they just go to our website, etghub.com and contact us through there, then we'll be able to send them the calendar for this year as well. Other than your virtual mentoring events, do you have any other projects coming up in the future or anything that you're working on? Yes, this entire year, we're going to be teaching juniors out of the Sorrento Canyon Golf Center. So it's another partnership with a local, local organization here in San Diego, Empowering Mentorships. Um, and we have a group of students that we uh, teach. And this, all of this came through COVID. Like who would have thought, but during COVID, we were still busy. A teacher asked if I would be interested in teaching the students just to get them out of the house, um, and I said, of course, let's get them out, uh, give them something to do, something mentally stimulating and active. And so every third Saturday of the month, we teach, um, I give lessons at the Sorrento Canyon Golf Center. And we'll also be um, initiating like our STEM programming. Um, it will be like a coursework uh, that we uh, sort of like get off of the Coursera. Um, but we're definitely pushing our uh, STEM initiatives a little bit more this year. And we're fundraising throughout the entire year because we're going to still be doing tournaments. We're growing our organization. Um, so if anybody also wanted to donate uh, directly on our website, etghub.com, to donate to all of our causes for this year. All right. Do you have any other final thoughts or any anything else you would like to add? Any topics that we missed that you would like to touch on? I mean, I, not much, um, but I do have the dates for the event, so I could probably just call out a few, um, just so that it's on the recording for anyone who is listening. So coming up on May 22nd, the next event uh, that we're going to be hosting, the next virtual mentorship that we're going to be hosting um, is focused around taking care of your mind, and this is for students and athletes. On uh, June 1st, it's Women's Day of Golf, and we're going to be doing an Instagram takeover there. So if there are any females 
who play golf um, and they want to be part of the Instagram takeover, they can let us know. On August 14th, uh, this session is going to be around creating your unique brand. And this goes for scientists and golfers as well, because even as a scientist or an engineer, you still have to present yourself well. Your work speaks for you. It speaks ahead of you. And then also as an athlete, creating a brand around your talent is very important. And then on October 9th, we're going to celebrate the Day of the Girl. And then this is a special for our students in Ethiopia. Um, so if there's anyone listening who has a connection to Ethiopia or knows anyone who speaks Eritrean, we'd probably need them because uh, we have to do a lot of translation for that event. And then I also give lessons online, so virtual lessons. So if anyone was interested in just like getting their foot wet in the game or even just like for advice, to how to get into the game of golf, because I know sometimes it can seem intimidating for some people. You can just reach out to us and ask us any questions. We can connect you to people in your local area through LPGA um, to get you out there um, so you can experience the game for yourself. And as always, if there are any other questions, you can come back to our website, etghub.com and send us a message and we'll definitely get back to you. Well, I have a final question. My question is, give out your Instagram and your any Facebook, your Facebook links as well. One more time. Yes, no problem. And so on social media, you can find us if you just search empowerment through golf. And you can do that on LinkedIn, on Facebook and Instagram. So just empowerment through golf on those three platforms, and, um, Instagram, excuse me, uh, LinkedIn and Facebook. And so I saw in your media kit that you also allowed the opportunity for people to kind of start up their own chapter under you guys. How would somebody go about doing that? Yes. Uh, so how did I not say that? Um, <laughs> but again, just reach out to us and we can get that started. Uh, we are a registered 501c3 um, and we have, you know, all of our uh, documentation in line. So we can easily help someone start up a chapter in their local community so that we can spread empowerment through golf across the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Helene Joseph. Helene, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And listeners, please be sure to follow, rate, review, and share after listening. Our mentor golf across the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Helene Joseph. Helene, thank you so much. Thank you. thank you. And listeners, please be sure to follow, rate, review, and share after listening. For more information on the Living the Dream podcast, visit www.djcurveball.com. Until next time, stay focused on living the dream. dream.